you're on. All right, everybody. Welcome to uh, 2016 AARC Field Day. Let's start off with the pledge of the flag. Which way is the flag? Just I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And congratulations to the people in the United Kingdom. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Um, I guess we'll start off. I'm glad everybody could make it. And uh, just want to, I don't know how many of y'all know, but uh, I saw this. It was circulated around. Actually, uh, Governor John Bell Edwards has proclaimed week of June 20 through the 26th 2016 as Amateur Radio Week. So we do have a copy of the proclamation and we'll, I guess, put that up in the trailer while we operate. Um, kind of make this short and sweet. So uh, I'd like to give the uh, Freddie Keller Award at this time. And I, I don't know, a lot of y'all probably don't know. He, he, was, he was gone before I got in the club. He was a silent key, but uh, the history of it is Freddie Keller was always uh, willing to help anybody do anything. He was uh, one of those guys that you really didn't have to ask. And so every year we give out the award in his honor to a person in the club who has given a lot to the club and dedicated a lot of time. And this year's recipient is Mr. Leo Graves, KB5HKB. How many of y'all know, but Leo, generally uh, every year, the food is courtesy of Leo. So, uh, and that, that's not all he does. He does a lot for us. He's been instrumental in, in helping us secure the fire department. And so, Leo, that's the least we can do for you. Well, thank you. Thank we you appreciate so much. what you do. Very Thank you very much. Con Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, we have, uh, we usually dedicate our field day for the last couple of years. We dedicate it to the, if we've had any silent keys in the club, and this year we've actually had two. And uh, so we would like to dedicate this year's field day to uh, KD5 IJE Greg. Of course, we lost him last field day, so. Uh, and uh, M5KXF for Sedan Willingham. So we have uh, some memorial plaques that, that my wife made. And we usually give those to the family members, although there are no family members here from either one. So we will set these up in the trailer. And uh, this year's field day will be dedicated to these two guys. So if y'all don't mind, we'll have a, a moment of silence for Greg and, and Don. Does anybody have anything else before we uh, adjourn and uh, have lunch? Real quick, um, how's the uh, meeting site looking? Uh, for those that don't know, we're not meeting at the restaurant right. anymore. Yes, so we, uh, we're considering a couple of different options, this being one if we can get it, and the other one would be the library. No July meeting. Yes, we will not have a July meeting since this is so close. Um, generally, we'll, we'll skip the July meeting and then we'll pick up again in August. So, uh, since we, uh, I guess we'll announce before the August meeting where we're going to be, depends on where we can get. Um, I don't think we can book this thing, you know, so far in advance, so we'll have to go probably month by month. Um, but I will talk to Jessica. She's she's usually you, very. You, you looking to uh, let the phone go? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we can make that happen. Okay. Uh, she's day she's day. usually really easy to deal with. Yeah, she, she's out right now because she just had a baby right. last week, so uh, she'll yeah. be here for two or three months. So is anybody taking it that you know, Leo? Uh, just give it with me, and I'll we'll see that. Okay. Okay. 
and to not vote, you know, with the we, We've had a couple of members this morning already express, you know, mm -hmm. that this, they thought this would be a really good place to be. So, and, and one thing about it is it doesn't matter how many members you got. So, because at the restaurants, that's what it is. It's, if, if you get a lot of people and a bunch of people don't eat, then it's cutting into their yeah. profits, you know what I'm saying? So, and I can understand that. I've also met people that are reluctant to go to meetings at the restaurants because they feel obligated to purchase and eat, and right. so they skip right. the meetings due to that. Yeah. So uh, if, if we can book this, this would be an excellent place for us to meet, and a lot of the reason we have all the audio-visual equipment, if we want to have any kind of presentation, mm -hmm. equipment's here. All we have to do is turn it on and, and, and use it. So. And just deal with me. We can make that happen. Okay. Appreciate it. Give me a date, uh, uh, a couple of days. So if it's the first day you book, and if it's next one, we book, and we can go to the next day. Okay. Appreciate that. Anything else before we close? I just have one question. Um, the equipment that my parents, uh, that my mom donates to the club, was anybody able to benefit from that or was there any use of that equipment? Or? Uh, not yet, and I think some of what we're going to try to do with that is hopefully if we can get a table at Slidell maybe in July, we may do that and, and put the funds for the club. Okay. So, But I, I did put it out there, and I hadn't had any response. But uh, I think we could sell it and, and, and you know give the club the money would be a good thing. So. But we definitely appreciate that as well. I did not say that, and, and uh, Leo's mom gave the club a whole bunch of equipment, a lot of CV equipment and stuff that his daddy had, and uh, we have it sort of outside my house. So that was the thing. If we nobody wanted to buy it, we would bring it to the ham fest and get a table and and sell what we could, and just donate the funds to the club. That's cool. And. Uh, we also have a few other things in the uh, in the sea can, so uh, that we can, you know, we, we have enough stuff to manage two tables, probably. Hello. Also, hey, the New Orleans yeah. swap meet and stuff coming up too. That's another yeah. opportunity. Right, and and right. Uh, that was another thing. Uh -huh. um, Joe asked me if if we would have a couple of members that would okay. probably be all right okay to go to down later. there on a Friday Thank evening. You and help some of the vendors get set up. And uh, he even offered some of the profit from the from the ham fest or whatever. And uh, basically I told him we didn't really want any of the profit, but it would be nice maybe Saturday morning if we could drag our trailer down there and set it up in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if we didn't power everything up, just let people go through and see what it was. Mm -hmm. So he is willing to do that without an issue. So. I haven't dealt with him much, uh, a little bit over the phone, but uh, if, if we got anybody, and that's not going to be till like October, so if we do have anyone that'd be willing to go down there and, and give a hand, then we'll drag the trailer down there the next the next day. Anything else? Trailer get moved. The trailer got moved. Uh, we did all of that. Everything is done. We actually had to go to the uh, to Donaldsonville yesterday. Um, the generator that we use is is it stayed its house in Donaldsonville, at a warehouse in Donaldsonville. So uh, the parish truck was broken. So we Todd and I went down there and picked that up yesterday. It wasn't bad at all. So the tower trailer is gone. It's gone. Oh. So everything that Rick has asked is done. Anything else? All right. I'll make a motion. We adjourn. Let's see. All right. This is the Ascension Amateur Radio Club's emergency response trailer. It has a mast, which has a dipole antenna mounted on it. Also, there's a camera up top. And also, they have an inflatable mast also set up out there with a dipole running to it. All this set up, running on that generator right there. Good and quiet. Daytime is 13 hours, K5. And the fire station. So we're just behind the fire station. There's a little 
Public Baseball Park there. It's a good little setup for the public to come out and see the activities of the club and how this trailer works. What do we got on the inside? Well, on this side we got an emergency repeater. Okay. Now below that is a 36 inch flat screen which is tied into our uh, camera that is on the mast. Well, they just recognize okay. it. That's all. Zoom, tilt pan zoom, zoom camera. And they have a plaque up uh, here. We actually have a 700 megahertz radio that's out getting programmed right uh -huh. now. 440 megahertz law enforcement. Uh, and Marine I band. Get, you have an APRS, which is attached to, hooked up to one of these. Yeah, because the they're not So you can watch me drive down the road and while I'm watch hang you drive up. down the road. We have several handhelds, which are also APRS. If we're talking cool. about media, weather here, station, then mm -hmm. get one. Uh, computer, the two monitors for the computer, controls for the camera, and of course two HF stations with uh, three separate power supplies, one for each HF rig and one that controls, that supplies power to all of this. Cool, and we'll be operating the full 24 hours? We will be the full 24 hours unless we get too tired to continue. <laughs> cool. Appreciate it, Al. Thanks for the tour of the trailer. That's okay. We're not used to it.